Hi, I'm Chris Baines, an engineer on the Android Developer Relations team. And I'm here today to talk, give you an introduction to Action Bar Compat. So what is Action Bar Compat? Well, it's a support library that we've released this week as part of the support library version 18, um, which allows you to add a compatible Action Bar to your application, but allows it to work from Android 2.1 upwards. Now, Action Bar Compat has been designed to mimic the Action Bar API available in later versions of the platform as much as possible which makes your job easier. So how do you actually go about adding it to your application? Well, there are two ways we support. First is via Gradle, and it's been added to the Android support repository, which means it's a one-line change to your build.gradle, as you can see here. Or alternatively, you can add it as a library project. You should have a look at the support library release notes for more information on both of these. So for the rest of this dev bite, I'm going to go through a scenario. And that scenario is that you have an application which works on ice cream sandwich and above, but you want it to work on devices from 2.1 and above instead. The first thing we need to look at are your resources, specifically your menus and your styles. So Action Bar Compact includes three styles which you must use, either directly or indirectly. And they are theme.atcompat, theme.atcompat.light, and theme.atcompat.light.darkactionbar. Now the keen eye of you will see that each of these mirror of a theme from theme.hollow, and they act accordingly. So back to our scenario, we have, in our manifest, we have an activity which directly uses the theme.hollow.light.darkactionbar theme. Now, this comes from the Android system. Now, to change this for Action Bar Compact, we need to use the theme from Action Bar Compact instead. So that would be the theme.acompat.light.darkactionbar theme. But most applications don't use this, and they don't use themes directly. They have customized themes. So here we have a small example with a theme called theme.styled, which has a parent of theme.hollow.light, which has a, cu a custom action bar theme. And that, that, that style is referenced below. Now, for Action Bar Compact, we've had to import a lot of attributes into Action Bar Compact, which you have to then use. So there are two rules you need to think about. The first is that your style must always have an at-compact parent. And secondly, you must always double set each attribute, once in the Android namespace, then again in the default namespace. So back to our scenario. Uh, theme.style will become this. So rule number one, it has to have an at-compact parent. So here we've changed it to theme.at-compact.light. And then rule number two, you have to double set each attribute. Now, the, we've already set it in the Android namespace, as, we, as you can see. So we just need to copy that value and do it again in the default namespace, which is the second bit in green. So that's it with styles. As long as you follow those rules, you should be fine. So following on with that, with menus. So as with the standard action bar, items are added to it via the options menu. Now we recommend you add them via, via menu resources. So here is an example menu resource um, with one item, a, a search item. And that item has an action view class of, of referencing a search view. Now the trick with this is that it has two attributes which were added in Honeycomb. So you can't use them before. We well, can, but they'll be ignored. So to get around this, we've, in, we've sort of imported all of the action item related attributes into Action Bar Compact. So to do that, you need to import them into your namespace. Now we've called it the your app namespace, but it, you could call it anything you want. And the result is that you need to, for any of the action item attributes, you need to reference them from this namespace, not the Android namespace. So that's it with your resources. We're now going to move on to some code. So the first thing you need to think about is your activity. Your activities need to extend from Action Bar Activity. Now, Action Bar Activity was added in Action Bar Compact, and it actually extends from Fragment Activity itself. That means you can continue using Fragments, but you must use the support implementation. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the API we've tried to add to Action Bar Compact is very similar to that of Activity in later releases of Android. So we have a get support action bar method, which will return you an Action Bar, which has a a near identical API to that action bar available in Honeycomb and ICS. So you can um, add tabs, change the navigation type, or change the home item to act as up navigation. Another method you'll probably use is start support action mode, which will start a contextual action bar. Now, as mentioned earlier, you add items to your action bar via the options menu. So here we have the, so here's an implementation that you would do in Android 1 version one, um, where you override on create options menu and you inflate a menu from your resources. Now, nothing has changed in this respect. This is exactly the same as you do with Action Bar Compact. 
The only difference is when you want to start calling methods which were added in Honeycomb or later, such as get action view we have here, to get the actual reference to the search view. Now, to, to get around this in action bar compat, we've added the menu item compat class, which is a collection of static methods, which will allow you to reference these methods cleanly and safely, much like you do with a lot of the other support methods. Now we move on to fragments. Now, nothing has changed with fragments. You can, can, you can continue to use Android.support the v4.fragment as you always have. And indeed, to add items to your options menu from there, you just need to call set has options menu during your onCreate, and then your onCreate options menu and onPrepare options menu will be called. And you inflate them just like you do in your activity. I hope this makes your lives easier, and thanks for watching.